Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to continue exploring the capabilities and uh, limitation of uh, Style 3D plugin. And I prepared this uh, cloth. Actually, I downloaded it from the market. But this cloth particularly was not designed for simulation and I spent a lot of time to make the appropriate material suitable for simulation because whenever you download a cloth um, usually I mean it is important that the cloth is um, simulatable just uh, just the fact that the cloth looks fine doesn't mean that it's good for simulation and you should spend time for <coughs> making cloth ready either it's marvelous designer or another application in this case it's style 3d so i make the appropriate cloth um materials for the cloth to be simulated and i want to show you this particular cloth because this is especially very hard to simulate if you have experience with simulation you know that these kind of cloth that um, basically um, I think the application is having a hard time to render because the cloth is very dense and there are multiple layer and not only multiple layer multiple lines and if I here go to show internal internal line you will see that a lot of uh, internal lines are there and it makes it incredibly difficult to simulate and um, also the the um, the gown itself composed of multiple layers on top of each other and this uh, portion of the the portion of the uh, gown is actually need to have a different material which I made as metal so it keeps its form and doesn't deform and here on the back there is no support to, to actually take the uh, weight of the back portion of the gown and it's very difficult and challenging to simulate and so I cho uh, choose this particular uh, gown to be simulated inside Unreal Engine to test the plugin so I exported the um, cloth and here inside Unreal Engine we are going to simulate it from scratch so I'm going to um, import um, um, uh, the single body that we exported from Maya and if you are just joined to uh, this video and this is the first time that you are seeing the um, video about Style 3D I recommend you to uh, watch the uh, previous video so you understand the process. I'm not going to repeat the process and I'm just going to start simulating the gown. So this is uh, the gown and I'm going to open it and we have these materials. This is uh, the material that I made call it heavy and this is heavy actually the material property is uh, heavy silk and this is metal part and also I have nylon which is this part so I have basically three materials or four materials and I'm going to simulate the cloth and um, okay so I am going to bring my character which I'm using for simulation and 
it's um, here slim body and actually it's here and I'm going to copy the position of the metahuman character copy and paste and also we have 90 degree rotation I'm going to hide the metahuman for now and I'm going to add metahuman uh, add uh, style 3d component and for metadata asset I'm going to select gown and for I'm going to assign animation to it and here I select use animation asset and I'm going to assign animation and so I have to check this sometimes uh, the microphone is not working I just want to make sure that the microphone, microphone is working well and now I'm going to pose fitting is after start 3d and enable pose fitting enable pose fitting and I'm going to assign the um, pose and I'm going to click on pose fitting to fit the cloth all right and now I'm going to I'm going to simulate it so I'm going to select record and there's a little thing that I want to check and on simulation part I think this is going to improve the simulation and then simulation part solver property I'm going to check smooth animation um, I'm not sure exactly I need to read the documentation but I'm just going to check it I think it's going to improve the quality but maybe not maybe it's for another thing anyway um, I'm going to simulate it and before simulating it I'm going to assign a appropriate name for the cache and uh, gone two because I had another gone so I'm going to play, press simulation and metahuman appears when you play the game even if you have um, if you have you have it hidden but for the game plan for the runtime you have to hide it in sequencer or through blueprint So as um, you can see, um, speed is very good. The, even though we have multiple layers, we have uh, incredibly dense material and very, very complicated material with different type of uh, lines that making different folds still we have a very very good speed for simulation very acceptable for making cinematics and this type of material is um, this type of cloth is very hard to simulate to the point that sometimes it's uh, impossible because I had a project that it was with marvelous designer and I tried to simulate the cloth and um, it was literally impossible due to um, the complexity of the cloth and the time that it was taking so I decided to actually fake these folds inside Maya for that project because it didn't work but the amazing thing about this application is that I was able to run the animation inside the application maybe 20 times or 30 times until I get this satisfactory result and 
that is just because the um, application uses GPU and it's incredibly fast and allows me to actually uh, test multiple times and it's very important for simulation to test and if you notice this uh, there is a black um, shadow on the back and this is actually a fake uh, or hidden or hidden uh, piece of cloth that I, uh, is is used for keeping the backside together because if it's not there um, those uh, those straps cannot handle uh, the the uh, sh the shape of the cloth and they are going to um, penetrate each in, into each other and so in uh, in order to have to have appropriate simulation we have we have to use these kind of tricks and it's easy to uh, make it hidden uh, inside the game I, I believe that we need to um, uncheck uh, visibility for uh, ray tracing and that's because right now I'm using ray tracing it's visible so the simulation is done and we're going to watch it now I'm going to uh, select select um, the cache and this time I'm going to use I'm going to use play cache and select gone to and we are ready to see the simulation and it's pretty good actually it's supposed to be silk I think it has a silky feel on it and I am satisfied with the result and if you I just want to okay um, I just wanted to mention mention that this uh, for transparency I used additive I didn't use um, transparent material and I will show you because usually for transparent material you cannot have it uh, appropriate transparent transparent material unless you use path tracing and let's see path tracing it's way way more pleasing so let's put it on a metahuman and see how it works so I'm going to bring my metahuman here oh actually metahuman is here we just hide it and I'm going to make a level sequence gone sequence and bring the metahuman here and I'm going to select my slim body and uncheck visibility all right and drag the slim body here delete control rig and add animation to meta human and adding start 3d component actually garment cache just works and be, um, previously I used to add start 3d component first and then I select um, garment cache and it wouldn't load and it was the wrong way to do that actually you have to just add garment cache from the skeletal mesh so it will load uh, immediately 
and let's take a look. And of course, MetaHuman is this um, uh, texture for for the under underpants and bra, which if you have this such a situation you need to change the texture to something more appropriate and here is our simulation and please pay attention to the quality of the simulation which is mind-blowing it is multiple layers on top of each other and this material representing heavy silk which I think it's pretty accurate and we don't have penetration and it is very hard to simulate this kind of cloth and let's take a look while we are we are using path tracing to actually yeah for path tracing you know, we need to enable I think um okay let's not see it in path tracing but as i said with path tracing uh, it looks way way better i i'm not sure why it's like that when i'm using path tracing with sequencer it's not stopping um just sampling all the time uh but anyway i am if you want to use transparent material or kind of metallic material it really works well with path tracing so i hope you enjoyed this video and um, in the future um, i'm going to having more videos about style 3d and this wonderful application and the plugin which is the the main thing for the for this um, application package thank you for watching and stay tuned for other videos